the left hand. Yeah. Which one you got? Uh, I believe you call it. He's actually seven. I forgot the first. Though. Oh, 25, yeah. 25. Huh? So it says, Ecclesiastes 7 to 25, I applied mine heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and to in the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth the Most High shall escape from her. That's the point I want to get out. Whoso pleaseth the Most High. See? So most I line a lot of you guys up with the women of your quote unquote dreams. Right? You wanted that bad that baddie. Baddie girl, right? Perfect dime. Which most of these women ain't natural dimes, they plastic. Eyebrows are fake, nose is fake, lips is fake. Yeah. You all know extensions, wigs, weaves, breasts is fake, ass is fake. They uh, do surgery for the abs, or they, they take a rib out. That's another thing they do yeah, yeah. to keep that figure, that hourglass shape, right? So everything about them is plastic. And if I mean, yeah, right yeah. Fast, uh, and it's crazy how they say they want a real man. Yeah, but everything about you is fake. You're walking contradiction. Yeah. See, everything about them is fake. You got it. And that woman is a headache, man. And she start draining your vital force, the succubus, like a uh, Brittany Reiner and. DJ Washington, right? You must have seen a ooh, this is a baddie Instagram. Well known for being a freaking whore, a nasty slut. And they just saw a video of her too. That girl is yo, that girl is cold. The most I got horrible judgment. Horrible judgment for that girl, man. That girl is cold blooded. That girl is a fucking yo, man. That girl is definitely a um, a cobra, man. Cold, man. She said everybody keep talking about the current situation. She looked dead in the camera. She said, guess what? I have no regrets. She has zero regrets. Right? So she was running game on that nigga, man. But guess who fault was it? His own. Because you already knew her track record, man. Stop thinking with your little head, man. Stop, man. All it's right? Like he married her? Uh, no, no, no. He just... Uh, had, had a child. Yeah, child with her. They had a baby. Everybody, she's a well-known thought, though. She's a, she's the second coming of Superhead, man. Okay? Everybody knew, but that's why she got the name Superhead. She was blowing everybody damn right. And she wrote a book about it. Brittany Reiner took off where she left off. She did the same freaking thing. And guess who the only relationship she ought to keep talking about is little Uzi Vert. And he's a bug out, man. Yeah, he's not. Right? He played her. He treated her like the way she's supposed to be having treated. Right? And what happened? She loved him for it. That's what's good. Uh, yeah. so saying, uh, Harley should be counting that spittle. She spittle. He, he, he treated her like spittle. She loved him. That's the only relationship she keep talking about. Because he just used her like she was nothing. And here you come. You want to transform her and turn her. It can't be done. It can't be done. All right? Like they say, once a good girl gone bad, she's bad for, for good. All right? Because why? She cannot mate with you because she, done, she has too much bodies. She has too much sperms in her. Sperm cells, she's man. Taking on a too much spirits, man, yeah. 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 So she can't never, she can't really bond with you anymore. She can't. Right? We read too much. We're not really in state. blowing this guy off. She's going to bond with you, man. Mm. All right? But see, you see a lot of you young men, Sirach 18 and 30. You know, you know, you couldn't tell PJ Washington nothing. I'm sure they were his teammates telling him, like, yo, bro, you. You know what I mean? You bugging out with that shit. Like, nigga, mind your business. I'm just standing third. Because you got money. Right? You got fame. Right? You got it all. You can't tell them man nothing, man. Well, boom. Play with fire, you get burnt, man. And she said what? She has no regrets. Right? So she got a, a baby. That was her goal, to get a baby by the athlete. And she's already 30 years old. And she's going to continue being a hoe. Man, she's meant... Psychologically, she's already damaged. She can't be repaired, man. And what serious relationship she thinks she's gonna have from here on out? She's not. And that's another thing too. I was watching. Um, Can you imagine clip. being a son of a woman like that? That woman is evil, man. Actually, there was, was a kid who was getting bullied in school because his mom had only fans account. Yeah. And they were saying, yo, they showing him pictures of his own mother. You know, and she kept, she kept just, uh, she was just trying to explain to him, this is my job. I'm a, I'm a sex worker, something like that. And he, and he getting bullied at school. How kids is showing him pictures of his own mom butt naked, you know? 
Oh, and something else too. Uh, Kevin Samuels, a little, a little clip that popped up. You got this 40 year old woman. You know, basically she mentioned how she had a career. You know, she the reason why she wasn't married because she had she had her dreams to chase a career and all of that. And he asked, "Do you want to get married?" She said, "Yeah." He was like, he said, he said, what the heck? "Why aren't you not married? You're 40. You know, you're 40. Uh, do you have kids?" I think she said she had kids. I, I can't remember. But the point was, she chased her career and all of that instead of getting married at a young yeah, age. Like we said, who you got blamed for that? You saw. Yeah, yeah. That's not your career is serving your man. That's yeah. that's your career. Yeah. Your career is pleasing your man. Yeah. And you don't find it out until you're 40 years old. There's an emptiness inside. Mm -hmm. I got my career. I got my six figures, but um, I'm gonna die alone. Yeah, you are gonna die alone. And yeah, that's he's hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Die alone with a dog. Yeah. And she was like, I don't have no animals. She's trying to be funny. And he, he hung up. He's like, and then it's, it's crazy because like these women, they'll be hardest their whole life, chasing career their whole life, and then when they get to that age where they like, dang, like I should have settled down for that, that one. They, they remember that. They remember that one dude that actually could have held it down. You know? Yeah. Some woman said that. She said this guy was good to me. He was older than a good to me. You know, he funded this for me, that, and I just wasn't satisfied because I was believe telling everybody, telling me I'm too young. She was like 25 at the time. I think now she's like 33. She's like, you know, I regret it. This, that, and third. And you know that man already got a woman and kids already. Yeah. Because you want to be a damn. You listen to everybody else. All right. Don't don't listen to Beyonce, dumbass man. Beyonce got four kids. And she's married to a multi. Uh, she's married to a billionaire, and she's telling you women to be whores and only fans and all that, man. And she got freaking kids, man. Right? She's she's a she's a wife of somebody else, man. But she's telling you to be a whore and only fans, man. That's the industry. Cardi B, the same thing. Another witch, man. Right? Her, her song come on, and her kids come in the room. She she turned. She took the song off. How wicked can you be, man? But you know what the music she's making is, is uh, yeah, wicked. Yeah. So it's okay. It's not. A, it's okay for you to poison other people's kids' minds, but not your own. The Lord gonna deal with your ass too, man. You see this, Jay? Yeah. What's he doing? Yeah, that dude bugged out, man. What the fuck are you doing, man? This dude bugging out, kid. To bug it, man. Jake? There's always got to be a Jake, man. When you fall from there, you on your own, man. Yeah, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? He already a little upper knee, so if you fall, you gonna hurt yourself. There's a lot of rocks in that world, man. Wow. What the fuck? Damn. This guy is crazy, man. That's what the scripture says the most high shall what? Smite you with what? A madness. Man. You know, that man's supposed to be under supervision, man. Yeah. They should have called somebody who worked in a park and be like, yo, this guy's bugging. Yeah. You know, like enemies still stop by, look, you know what I'm saying? I think it's funny. No, no, it's taking time from the lesson, man. Even make sense calling him because he may end up falling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, it'll go as well. He get back on the, on the platform safe. Man. Yeah, because you, so, you, you call him, he's gonna be like, huh, huh. Yeah, and yeah, end up slipping. Yeah. Jake, Jake, fucking out. Man. Dude, crazy. Dude, I just gonna get that precept. You just yeah, do it on the twenty-eight, twenty-eight. Deuteronomy 28 verse 28. The Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushai shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. I smit your ass with madness. You out there on some little. You bugging the hell out, man. Study one glass and everybody get dead. You drink 
one glass of that water there, you're dead. Mm. Right, that's how filthy it is, man. Compared to when Gad was here. See? These are coming to destroy everything. Destroy everything, man. The thief coming now, but to still kill and to destroy, man. Okay? I may come that you may have life and have it abundantly. Right? The thief came, came and destroyed everything, man. How you pollute the water, man? And the majority of the earth is made out of water. That's why, brother, you know, we can't wait for the kingdom, man. The kingdom is going to just drink water out of the river. But he's telling you to take Maxine and it's going to make you feel better. Yeah. Come on, man. Come how, on, how about man. you clean this water? Huh, you saw? You care about the people so much. You know, something that, that's free, that the Lord put freely here, we got to pay for now. You got to pay for water. You see people at Home Depot paying for dirt. They got the big bag of dirt. Yeah, you got to pay for <laughs> dirt. Oh, my goodness. You be like, yo, what's going on here, man? You got a big bag of dirt paying for dirt, man. That's crazy as shit, man. Right? The Lord made the earth for us to enjoy, man. Okay? It tells you that in um, Psalms 104th chapter. Psalms chapter 104. Start from verse uh, eight. Verse eight. Psalm one four. Verse eight. They go up by the mountains. They go down by the valleys unto the place which thou hast founded for them. Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over. Read down to verse uh, twenty five. Con. So verse eight from the top. Psalm one four. Verse eight. They go up by the mountains. They go down by the valleys unto the place. Which thou hast found it for them. Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, that they turn not again to cover the earth. He sendeth the springs into the valleys, which run among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them shall the fowls of the heaven have their habitation. Yeah, so the Lord created all that for the earth and all its inhabitants and the creatures. Your head? Khan was seen among the branches. He watereth the hills from his chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He made it out. Uh, yeah. Verse 14. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle. There and you go. So the Lord created all this here freely. Yeah. For the herbs. That's crazy as shit, man. Yeah. He called it, if, if he so could, he would have to pay for air. He, he could. could. You know, he'd have to pay for air, man. Verse 13. He has to grow for the cattle and herb for the service of man. That he may break forth food out of the earth. So he freely put it here, man. Yeah. And wine that maketh glad the heart of men, and oil to make his face to shine. And bread with strength strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, are full of sap. The cedars of Lebanon, mm. which he have planted, where the birds make their nests. As for the stork, the fir trees are her house. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats. So they tell you the entire ecosystem, how the Lord created everything, man. Created this for that, this, that, and the third. The trees for the birds, you got the insects. Um, they created the herb for the service of man. Created the sun, the moon, the star. Everything works together, perfect in harmony, man. Yeah. All right. Everything's synchronized with each other, man. See, the devil, you know, he turn everything upside down. He gonna tell you, he could create a better fruit that that has no seed in it, man. See. Most I made medicines out of her. He talking about some max seed. All right. Well, all this abominable ingredients inside of it, man. And mandated it like the earth is his. See? You got? Verse uh, 18. 
Psalm 118. The high hills are refuge for the wild goats and the rocks for the conies. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knoweth is going down. Thou makest darkness and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their, they seek their meat from the most high. The sun ariseth, they gather themselves together and lay them down in their things. Man goeth forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. O Yahweh Shemel Shai, how manifold are thy works! So is this great and wide sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. Yeah, the sea is a, is a world within itself. Okay. They tell you what, only less than 5% of the, the world's yeah, yeah. ocean has been discovered. Yeah. So it's a whole other world that we don't even know about. And then within that 5%, it's a lot. You know, they discovered yeah. sharks, whales, all they types of fishes. Uh, you know? Creatures newly created. Mm. Psalm 1118, it's yeah. creatures every day. He hasn't even discovered most of this. Probably lands out there we don't even yeah. know, man. They even tell you that there's lands underwater. Mm. Due to the volcano or due to the flood. Or maybe find treasure cities under there. It's all kind of things that we don't know. We don't know all of that in the world to come. Uh, and we're going to be able to have um, palaces underwater. Water, man. Palaces and other planets. Palaces in the sky. We can even have a moving city, man. Yeah. A, a city on a chair. Yeah. Yeah. You know, or the technology of the chair is riding, we may yeah. be able to have like that yeah. as a platform. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then yeah. build a whole city on that. City, city. The moving city in the air. And we're going to get creative, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. You're going to get right. creative. Because yeah. we're going to have nothing but time on our hand and time to what? Time to create. And we're not going to rush nothing. So everything yeah. be, everything going to be perfect. Just like Solomon in the house of the Lord. It took seven years to go four times. get things that was indigenous to this land to bring it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So how much more in the kingdom? How much more in the kingdom? Man? That was like a prelude. Yeah. You know, we read those different chapters and, and you know, King Solomon was your Shai. And your Yahweh Shai said, I'm going to prepare for us. So what do you think he prepared for us, man? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If he was on the earth with Solomon, yeah. so imagine, you know, for the, in the kingdom of heaven, and the kingdom is going to last forever. Come on now. According to your spirit. Yeah. Lord creating your spirit so you know exactly what you like. Yeah. Right? Yeah. See? And Brothers. all that for just enduring. But we gotta endure. I I and you like gotta keep those long term. That's what's gonna keep us going with Jacob's trouble because we know what's coming right after. Yeah. This is not it. The, the ship says we have no continuous city. But we see one to come, man. This is what we're supposed to be preaching and prophesying. You got guys out there talking about. Let's get that Titus 1 and 11. Alexander the Greek. Was, we're going to do a video on that too. Probably how about you know, Alexander the Greek. That demon. Right? So, uh, Israel. Bro, you means you have to go up against every scholar in the world, man. Okay, that's a new revelation, you guys. You guys don't understand that? Alexander the Greek was an Israelite. Guys are pseudo scholars, man. You go up against any sky and look at you like you sky. This is the this is the black Hebrew Israelite movement. This is what I see you now. See? That means Aisha got a shot now. Alexander the Greek was an Israelite. Okay. Now did you have Israelites what they call black Greeks? Yes, you did. Okay? But a lot of the images that you guys shown, first of all, did the, the Japhites were there first, man. Were you going to the, the um, Medes, the Persian and Mede Empire? The Medes go back to Madai. They were what? The sons of Jaffa. Okay? They dwelt in Europe first. Those were the first inhabitants of Europe, were the Japhites. Not Aisha. Okay? Esau went up there and took over. And how do we know that? You read about Haman the Macedonian. It tells you his bloodline went back to who? King Agag, an Amalekite. Okay? That was Alexander the Greek's people, man. And he took over uh, Macedon, all right? Rest of Europe, and took down the Persians. And he went all the way down into the Middle East. And then the continued where he left 
off the Greco Roman Empire. It was the same people. Uh. Okay? Now, do you have Jakes that was in all those empires? Of course, because they had us in captivity. And you had a, today, yeah, and you had a lot of greed and back of these. The Jews made covenants with the, the heathen. It tells you the heathen and the Gentiles, man. Okay? All right. And you had you had the Lacedaemonians, but it tells you that the Lacedaemonians, aka the Spartans, or what were Israelites, it tells you that that was in the records. Not Alexander the Greek and Antiochus Epiphanes, man. Those guys were Edomites, man. And you know what cuts that too? Antiochus Epiphanes said on his deathbed he wanted to be a Jew. Mm. When you read that second Maccabees uh, six nine, no, nine. I think nine. I'll read it. So, wow. And you know so spiritual too. I, yesterday when I was doing a lesson going to that, I was it was a scripture in my mind and I just couldn't remember how it go or where it was at. But I believe it was something, I believe it was that. But we're gonna we're gonna do another lesson on it. And Herod. Herod was an Israelite. Yeah, we don't even want to see you guys, man. To be honest with you, man, you are so disgusting, man. You look at you like you guys are Edomites, man. Right? Because this is just ridiculous, man. Every week is some new shit with you guys, man. Take the name Yahweh Shai off your um, name, man. Just call yourself one body in Christ. Right? First Maccabees 9, right? No, second Maccabees. Sorry, it's not the second Maccabees. Let's see if I get that. And um, Antiochus Epiphanes, he, he died from a... Uh, an incurable disease. disease, yeah. That's that's the scripture in Daniel. Oh, let's read Second Maccabees nine and uh, this is Second Maccabees nine and seven. Con, and that's how, and that, that was in Daniel to Daniel the uh, eighth chapter when he says he yeah. broke him without hand. Yeah, but that's that's him dying from an incurable yeah, disease. Yeah, disease, yeah. But yeah, Second Maccabees nine and verse seven. How be it, he nothing at all ceased from his from his back bragging, but still was filled with pride, breathing out fire in his rage against the Jews, and commanded to haste the journey. But it came to pass that he fell down from his chariot, carried violently, so that having sore fall, all the members of his body were much pain. And thus he that a and, and thus he that a little afore thought he might command waves of, this, of the sea, so proud was he beyond the con condition of man, and weighed the high mountains in a balance, was now cast on the ground and carried in the horse uh, leader, showing forth unto all the ma manifest power of the Most High. So that the worms rose up out of the body of this wicked man, and whilst he lived in sorrow and pain, his flesh fell away, and the filthiness of his smell was noisome to all his army. Mm, to all his army, man. God hit him with that nasty disease, man. Mm. Okay? No physician on earth could save him. Okay? Come on. Verse 10. Right? Second Maccabees 9 and 10. And the man that thought a little afore he could reach to the stars of heaven, no man could endure to carry for his intolerable stink. Mm. Here, therefore, being plagued, he began to leave off his great pride and to come to the knowledge of himself by the scores of the Most High. He was proud. He was evil, man. Beyond evil, man. Antiochus Epiphanes, man, what he did to our people, man. Fell upon the city. Anybody who kept the commandments of circumcised who have you killed, killed the seven brothers, tried to bribe them. He was just wicked, man. And he had a, 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 a detest for our people and the law sets the commandments. Okay, and he came from what? The Solution bloodline. Okay, his brother was Solutions IV, one of the four generals of Alexander the Greek. So they weren't Israelites, you idiot, man. Okay? Con, so read on verse down, um, verse 11, read on down. Second Maccabees 9 11. Here, therefore, being plagued, he began to leave off his, his great pride and to come to the knowledge of himself by the scores of the Most High, his pain increasing every moment. And when he, when he himself could not abide his own smell, he said these words, It is meet to be subject to the Most High. Okay, listen to this devil. He pro, he trying to, he, 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 <laughs> he try to ride his own little pistol there. There you go. <laughs> it is meet to be subject to, unto the Most High, and that a man that is mortal should not proudly think of himself as if he were the Most High. 
this wicked person vowed also unto the Lord, who now no more would have mercy on, upon him, saying thus, that the holy city, to the which he was going in haste, to lay it even with the ground, and to make it a common burying place, he was set at liberty. And as touching the Jews, whom he had judged not worthy, whom he had judged not worthy so much as to be buried, but to be cast out with their children to be devoured of the fowls and wild beasts, he would make them all equals to the citizens of Athens. They give you automatic citizenship, yeah? Con, in the holy temple, which before he had spoiled, he would garnish with goodly gifts and restore all the holy vessels with many more, and out of his own revenue would defray the charge would be longing to the sacrifices, yea, and that also he would become a Jew himself. He said he will become a Jew himself. So what are you talking about, man? What the hell are you talking about? He wanted to become a Jew. According to you idiots, you were there already Jews. You know what I'm saying? We're going to pull that scripture back and we're going to sit down on it, man, because it's like how much I said, man, I think you, you super deep. You sound like a fool right now, man. Alexander the Greek and the Greeks were Israelites, man. We just read in the scriptures he, he, he himself wanted to become a Jew. He got back to 2229. Con, Matthew 22 and 29. And it reads Yahushua answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures. Yahushua yeah, told the Pharisees back then, you guys ain't know the scriptures, man. You don't know the scriptures. You don't know the scriptures, and you damn sure don't know the history. Right? You're pulling out um, images like nobody, like any, everybody's seen the images already. Man. Okay, go into the excrucians, man. Which are who? Japhites. Let's see if I get some images. And the Edomites went up there to Europe. And he didn't even say they were Japhites. He didn't even say Alexander the Greek was a Japhite. This man said he was an Israelite. Oh, shit. Can you read the priest? Yeah. Titus, the fourth chapter, Titus 1 and 11. And it says, matter of fact, service 10. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially if they are circumcision. Those vows must be stopped. You subvert whole houses, teaching things which they Some image. Oh, they can't even see. It. Yeah, it's really hard. You can see it right here a little bit. Right? These are the Skruskins, the original inhabitants of Europe. Let me see if I get. Um, it's like the Axterian camera fast. Let me see if it's like still hard to see. Oh, no, I think it's a little better. Oh, no, no, it's still kind of hard. See? The screw skins. See if I could let me see if it's over here. Yeah. See? That's the screw skins right there. Cause it's kinda hard to see. This, yeah, man, that's crazy. Greeks and the and Alexander Greek was Israel. Because of the sun, damn. So one of the one of the beasts. Like you mentioned earlier, you 
you know, that Daniel saw in a vision. Daniel himself was an Israelite. One of the beasts that he saw was his own people. See, look at the Etruscans, the dark skin. They had dark skin images in them. It says, how is Kruskins reach the afterlife, orgasm, blood? Right? This is Kruskins. Right? These are what? The sons of Japhet. Okay? Not Edomites, man. Those were the inhabitants of Europe first. Right? And, you know, probably doing a sit down on it, but, you know, um, and Esau, did, like he always do, he steal people's culture. All right? He tells us, let's get Habakkuk, the second chapter. And then we're going to get Titus again, Jeremiah. All right? Today you will call them. Uh, even you look up Sangir. Sangir. Those are the uh, original inhabitants of Russia. Those are all Japhites. All right? The people of Indonesia, uh, how you call it uh the people in the Fiji Islands. You see what I'm saying? Uh the whole the, the Samoans, those are all what? Those are all the sons of Jaffa. Right? A lot of people in a lot of them countries in Southeast Asia. Right? They're also also what? The um a lot of the Vietnamese can a lot of them are a mix, a mix of Jaffa or a mix of Moab. You see what I'm saying? But those are what the sons of Jaffa. What you got? Habakkuk 2 and uh, start at verse uh, nothing going to something top or straight to the point. Uh, we had three. Three, okay, con. Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Yeah. Okay. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. There's a point I want to get out. Read on. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the just shall live by his faith. He also because he transgresseth by wine. Philosophy is doctrine, dead. He is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. Who enlargeth his desire as hell. Yes, yeah, so he went up there to Europe. Like we said, the original Japhites were in Europe, Malaysia, Cambodia, Indonesia, people down in Australia, the original inhabitants. Okay? Which we call the uh Aborigines, Aborigines of Australia. Right? Those are those are all the sons of Japhet, right? The Hawaiians. Those are the sons of Japhet, man. Okay. Like we said, the people in Malaysia, Cambodia, Indonesia, a lot of them are a mixture of Japhet, and some of them are Moab down there, man. A lot of them countries in Southeast Asia. Those were the original inhabitants of um, uh, Europe. Okay. Before they got pushed further east because Esau came up in there all right because we're reading it right now he does he enlarged his desire as hell as death okay go ahead and it says and cannot be satisfied can never be satisfied go ahead. but gathereth unto him all nations all nations so he took over Europe went down to Africa Middle East went down to Australia New Zealand he took over all the places man. came to North America that's because why that's the trade up in Ethiopia. There's an old saying, the sun don't set on the British Empire. We did the, the lesson on uh, the Israelites up there in uh, you think about the slaves up there to Japan. We read about Sasuke. It was the Portuguese. They were dealing with the Japanese and they brought Israelite slaves up there. So he was he, he was everywhere, man, this man, man. We think Troy G he drew wrong. The, the photography is done by these Edomites. Because he'd been everywhere. No Alexander the Greek wasn't no Israelite man and the Greeks man. You had Israelites that were amongst the Greeks, like you read about the Lacedaemonians was first Magni saw but seven, I think, around then. This what they called the Spartans, right? Which we could go into other history on that. How the Israelites got up there when you read Ezekiel 27, I believe. But um because the scripture tells you our seed will be scattered as well, right? But no, our people weren't a part of the beast power structure. No, man. 
no, no, and hell's no, man. And we just read about Antioch's Epiphanies, who come from the Seleucid um, Empire. Brother of Seleucus, man. He wanted to become a Jew. And he hated our people. And he hated our people with a perfect he, hatred, man. Literally, we just read, it said uh, he didn't want them to get, get buried. He, want, he wanted their bodies laid out for the fathers of the air to kill them. He tells you in the, and the scripture makes a distinction. We're going to read it now. It makes a distinction between the heathen and um, the Lacedaemonians who were um, of the, the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. See, the way Antioch's Epiphanies um, hated our people, that's the same hatred that Esau has for Jacob, which we know is sin from Esau. He got that How you in that guy? Yo, man, it's, it's mind-boggling. How you guys are in these camps, man? I'm trying to figure... Like we said, a lot of guys are in these camps. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm trying to figure out which one is worse, this or the John the Baptist one, man. This is crazy. Like, these are just... Everybody in a race to be the next comfy, man. Everybody's out for each other. You know what I mean? And like you mentioned, like you said, this is a new revelation. You don't realize that. Yeah. Saying is a new suicide. You know that that's that's him trying to uh, uh, it's a cross 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 thing. That's what they know. Alexander the Greek was an Israelite. He was like, next y'all gonna say Borgia. Says her Borgia was was a Levite. <laughs>